Edmonton, Canada. Home to a couple that are so emotionally attached to their buffalo that they bring it into their house. We bring Bailey quite frequently into the house just because we enjoy that moment of time. It's kind of a fun hey, thing. How's Hi. my boy? Kind of How you do? I'm going to take my coat off. Are you going to take yours off? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweetie. How's my baby? Aw, oh, you're, you're getting awful big, you know. Oh, don't do that. Hey, 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 hey. He's, he's reinventing our carpet. So much for my border. Despite the obvious dangers, Jim seems driven to take greater and greater risks. I still couldn't quite envision how this was going to happen, and it took quite a lot of work. We had to remove the windows, the windshield, the back seat, the passenger seat. We uh, took angle grinders and we cut off the roof. Left the body flat just like a convertible. Good boy. Nobody ever sees the buffalo ride in a car before. They're wondering who's driving the car. Bailey loves riding in that Bailey mobile. He sticks his nose right into the wind, and just loves the wind going through his hair. Jim is very aware of the dangers of living his life in such close contact with a buffalo, but he wouldn't have it any other way. One of the things that I've always thought about death and dying is I don't want to die with my boots on. I want to get run over by a big old buffalo bull out in the <laughs> pasture, and I mean, that's the way I want to go.